Well, welcome. You are my first guest in my podcast. It's called Hugs and Mugs because I'm always going to invite you to a drink in one of my mugs. You remember why I started collecting mugs? Yes, because you're a collector of things. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't matter what it was. Keychains, mugs. Stickers. You know what? I'm just going to cut you off there. No, but there was a specific reason for the mugs. Like, do you don't remember? No, I do not remember. Okay, well, because I always said, like, if I, we had people over and I'd give them a mug and they'd be like, oh, there you went to a conversation starter. That's yes, right. Yes. Yeah, conver- we hardly have any people over. So, hey, we just conversate amongst ourselves. Well, it's because quarantine right now, but we had people over. Like, do you know where your mug's from? Like, where I got your mug? Country Music Hall of Fame. Nashville? We went to Nashville. I went to Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I went with um, Edwin Aviles. Mm. Um, and, I, and we were about to fly out of Nashville. And I, and I told Thomas, I was like, we need to stop by the country music place because I'm a huge country music fan. And I ran in. Because we didn't have time to go to the museum, museum. But I ran in and I got it. So that's the story behind it. I really wanted to go because they had a Dolly Parton uh, exhibit when I went. Well, blew by. Well, introduce yourself to the people. Who are you? I'm Angeline's beautiful mom, Griselle. You know what? I'm just... <laughs> this is going to be a heavily, heavily edited video. So the first topic is actually about this place right here. Well, not the city part, but the state. My first podcast is featuring Tiny Microphone. It's going to be about the big move. How do you feel about it? Well, I'm only going to be there partially, so eh, I'm okay. I feel okay about it. Are you scared to be without me? No. <laughs> <laughs> They ain't going to miss me. I will miss you, but I won't be scared without you. I mean, who else is going to be like, hey, mom, watch where you're going. You're about to run into that person. Whoever's beside me. (laughs) So we are moving. Well, I'm moving, moving, and you are going to help me settle down. And it's going to be in January. Early. Well, I guess mid. mid Mid-early January. Um and the it's a suburb outside of denver but i'm saying denver it's like we say dallas and talk about duncanville so it's outside denver what would you like to, to tell the people bye see y'all later <laughs> <laughs> well you're coming back so they will actually see. actually colorado is a very beautiful state i really enjoy when we go to colorado um we didn't go last year i don't believe but we go typically every year right i mean we flew over Remember when we went to it's, California? It's, it's a nice state. I, I enjoy it. Um, I don't like the cold weather, but I love the mountains and I, I love the people there. They're, I don't know, they're very outdoorsy people. Yeah. That's what Jasmine said. Because she, cause I was like, she was like, you're going to find new friends. Because they like to hike and that's what she would do. <laughs> but I like the outdoors too. But yes, so um, a question people had was, how do I feel about it? Change, change change-wise. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Um, I don't know. I just feel like (sighs) new beginnings, new beginnings. And that's all I'm thinking. I mean, like right now I say plan to 20, plan to move because I feel like 2020 has taught us that if you got plans, it's going to ruin it. (laughs) 2020 taught me not to plan my life Um, a lot of the questions were the same questions like it's a big change it's a big difference from texas my thing is the snow i like snow but i'm gonna be shoveling my car i'm looking for a place with a garage that way we don't have to shovel out the snow how do you feel about the snow you know how it is i don't i like seeing it being in it but not having to work to be in it meaning no i don't want to shovel snow no i don't want to be out there warming my car up see if it starts no i don't want to do all that that's just too much and that's what i'm going to be doing well uh two years ago we went to winter park i was the one shoveling us out of the snow you were in the house yes 
warm by the fireplace relaxing while i was out there shoveling the snow and then putting air in the tires because the tire pressure light came on Mm -hmm. my hands were freezing and you were just in there relaxing yep Mm -mm -mm. what do you what are you gonna miss most i guess even though you're gonna come back what are you gonna miss most about texas the people texas people are friendly and um that's what i'm gonna miss the most family too the people people that's what i'm gonna miss Mine's family, family and close friends who I consider family, grandpa and grandma, very specifically. Someone had asked, who will I miss the most? <laughs> Kim, I know you're watching. Of course, I will miss you the most. <laughs> but it would have to be my grandparents, grandma and grandpa. I think I will miss the most. I mean, the podcast, quote unquote, because you know how I did my YouTube videos for traveling, but I ain't got nothing to put on my YouTube. So my YouTube has been inactive because it's been one year since we've been in Thailand. Wow, now Colorado. <laughs> One adventure after another. It's going to be fun. Um, I think it, it, I think um, when you do something like this, it's actually good because it challenges you to see what you're made of. You know, hey, can I do this? A lot of people don't because they think they can't. So it t- broadens your horizons like, okay, can I do this? Can I do this? Well, do you think I could do it? Yes, you can do it because you were trained by me. <laughs> <laughs> Got that Garcia in me. We aren't quitters. We don't lose. Um, basically, we're working at a hospital. Um, a lot of people had asked what I was going to also do if I was going to stay in the same line of work. I am working at the Children's Hospital just over there in Denver now. Those are really the main questions. Why Colorado? I mean, I've always loved Colorado. When did I start talking about Colorado the most? It was before our first trip to Colorado, and that was back in 2016. Do you remember? I, I think you've always liked cold weather, mountains. And so because Colorado has all that, that's been something that you've been attracted to. Yeah. And you know what I think it is? I think that it's also, remember when Lore used to live there and we could never make it to Colorado when she was there? Yeah. And I think that just like fueled my fire. I'm like, I'm going to make it to Colorado <laughs> one day. <laughs> <laughs> blizzard, no blizzard, I will be there. Um, but I've always loved Colorado. I mean, it's going to be me, my dog, and a cabin in the middle of the woods. I don't know about the cabin part. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be you and your dog, all right? <laughs> I'm actually really interested how Dozer's going to react because of the change of the weather. That's what I'm interesting, interested in. He's going to love the summer, though, because we're going to be able to go, like, hiking. And he's going to be able but, like, I just feel like I'm going to take him hiking, and this fool's going to see a bear and going to start barking at it. And I'm gonna have, that's how I'm going to die if I die in Colorado. It's going to be because of Dozer barking at a bear. Let me tell you that right now. Make sure you put everything under my name. So that I can get an inheritance. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> that is messed up. Um, let me think. What else? Um, someone had asked if I was still going to be in the English. Yes, I'm moving co- states, not languages. I will still be going to the English congregation. Um, Dozer's are trying to make an appearance. Hey, Dozer, how do you feel about moving to Colorado? Oh, he's gonna like that. It's okay, I can take this part off. He's going to blend in with the snow. Do you have any any other words? <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I am nervous about is that I had heard, someone had told me that they had moved to New York, to, here to Texas, and that their car started breaking down because of the change of the weather, weather was so different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that I, I was going to ask Grandpa about that. Is that for real? Like, that's really true? Yes, because, hello, you're going from one temperature to the another temperature. So your car, I mean, is going to have to adapt as well, not just you. You know, it's, it's going to take a while to get it warmed up. And, you know, maybe your windows are frozen or your door to open it. So, yeah, the car is going to experience the weather. Yes. Oh, well, man, I guess I'm going to miss. You know what? I'm not going to. You know what? I'm getting most excited about Colorado. I can finally hit my car and not go to grandpa's and he'd be like what happened to your car <laughs> now it's just gonna be like well that happened and but i am gonna miss the free mechanics and auto collision because that let me tell you they be trying to juice you i'm trying to juice you you're gonna be juiced you're gonna be juiced all right you're gonna be juiced 
I think it's an exciting an exciting journey because you get to see what you're made of. You see what you're made of. Not only <laughs> not only like like you know, you're going to experience good things, but also you're going to probably experience challenges. So when your car is stuck on the side of the road, okay, let's see how you're going to figure this out. So, you know, it's, just, it's going to be something that pulls pulls something out of you to see what, what you're going to do about it. I feel like everything I've been through in life has been a learning. Well, I don't want to say that because obviously when you go through life, it's a learning experience. But like, I feel like being raised in the Garcia household, we are challengers, I guess you can say. Like, to learn to swim, I always tell everybody the story of how I learned to swim. You threw me in the middle of the... He wants to get on always here. has to be the center of attention. Do you remember how I learned how to swim? You threw me in... I don't even think you know how to swim. I do <laughs> know how to swim. I know how to swim to survive. I know how to swim to save my life. I think to think save you know to, to save someone else's life, I don't know how to swim. I think you think you know how to swim. You know what? I know how to swim. And it was because you threw me in the... Well, it felt like a big lake at Turner Falls. And Grandpa was down there and you just threw me off the cliff. Do you remember that? That's how I learned. Sink or swim. Bam. Go. <laughs> Colorado will be a sink or swim opportunity. <laughs> I'll be like... Whoo! But yes. So this is the first podcast. It's about moving. Have you ever done a big move like... Do you ever remember uh, having like a big move? Mm, by myself? I guess just in general. Like when you moved from, when you were little, when you moved from Kansas to Texas, did it feel big to you? Even though like you had grandpa, obviously. No, I was little. I was like, can, can we just get to where we're going? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? That's how I was. Like, no, I was little. So you don't have a big move? Uh, no, I don't think so. I feel like I'm the, well, I don't want to say fresh in the family, but like fresh in the immediate family who's having a big move. Because everyone else who's moved, they just moved to Kansas. And we have family in Kansas. And not that. Mama moved too. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That was the biggest move. I like Dozer. Yeah, that was the biggest move. I think my my biggest thing is um, you moving where there's no one that you know or family this is the time that you have to rely more on God because there ain't no one else going to be there. So hopefully you, 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 you do do that, that you rely more on God. I will. I mean, technically I do know people there. I will say that a lot of the doctors moved over there. Shout out to any of y'all watching this. I'm going to be over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, Colorado 2021. What a roller coaster of a ride. Here mm-hmm. is to new beginnings. Do you have any last words? I feel like Grandpa is my grandpa. Everyone's asking about that. Everyone, uh, the second most question was, How is your grandpa taking it? He not said, Very good. Grandpa said, No. <laughs> he said, Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. But hey, you live and learn. I like to experience things. <laughs> I need to stop experiencing things. It's going to be my last experience. Um, but I say two years and I'll be back in Texas. I say two years. Max. Because in two years, Grandpa will be 75. And then that's five years to 80. So I'll just be back when I'm 28. Oh. Unless you get married and then you ain't come back. <laughs> I'm not getting married. I'm like not that. moving to get married either. Never know. You yeah, never know. that's a hard no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, this has been Hugs in the Mugs Moving Edition. We got Tennessee, which I went without you, and then went to Park, Colorado. I think this well, one. She does things without me. <laughs> she does things without me. This mug, we gave it to Grandpa. Mm-hmm. This is ground because I never bought a Winter Park mug for myself, but he has all my mugs like that I bought for myself, like my Mexico one and my Texas one. I need, I need to get a Texas mug. That way, when I go over there, I'm keeping all my mugs. I will say that. That's the one thing I want. I just want my mugs. <laughs> but yeah. Well, it was nice having you as my first guest. I'm probably going to have you as my you second. 
Look at my hair. It's all messed up. I'm going to keep that part in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's raw and authentic. People love auth- authenticity, I feel like, because um, there's no authenticity sometimes in this world. Alrighty, we'll say goodbye to the people. Au revoir. Howdy, y'all. Howdy. That's good. That's hello. <laughs> Howdy. Hello. Let me come home.